It's been three years since I pulled off the original M.M. Bean April Fool's prank in 2021, and it's become a yearly tradition ever since. These pranks involve me changing my profile picture, username, and nickname to match Christiana to impersonate her. The first year was an astounding success, as M.M. Bean was bewildered by the fact that there were now two accounts of her. I learned from my failed attempt in 2022, and I was once again successful in the following year. In 2023, I recruited an accomplice to do the impersonation, while I remained present as a diversion. I began brainstorming for April 1st, 2024 quite early, but then something unexpected happened. On May 3rd, 2023, Discord announced important changes for how usernames would work. Historically, Discord usernames could be chosen without having to be unique. There was a random four-digit hash appended to the end of your username, meaning up to 10,000 people could have the same username as you. This worked in my favor for the past April Fool's pranks, since nobody would have memorized what M.M. Bean's canonical four-digit hash was. M.M. Bean 5608 would have appeared identical to M.M. Bean 1337. But now, there would be no way for me to change my username to be M.M. Bean, making it a dead giveaway if anyone ever opened my profile. With this in mind, I had to go back to the drawing board. Fortunately, I did not have to wait long to find inspiration for a new prank idea. I started a music channel called Mtang Music on June 11th, 2023. On that channel, I post mashups mainly covering anime and video game music. A mashup consists of mixing the instrumental of one song with the vocals of another. The production work mainly involves matching the key, BPM, and structure of the songs. In early July, I stumbled upon this song called Koi no Disco Queen from the video game Yakuza 0. The drum pattern in the beginning reminded me of a particular song. Within the first 10 seconds of listening to the song, I knew what I had to do. I fired up FL Studio to test it out, and sure enough, the songs were compatible. Making the Rickroll mashup was only half of the solution. I needed a good way to publicize the video, especially to cater to people like M.M. Bean who were not anime watchers. And then I figured it out. I just had to expand my mashups to K-pop. I started getting into K-pop in early 2024, so I began laying the groundwork for my master plan by announcing my debut of listening to K-pop to all my targets. I designed the mashup to have anime and K-pop vocals in the first 20 seconds as a fake out, in case anyone was too suspicious from the beginning drum pattern. And right at the 20 second mark, the Japanese Rickroll lyrics start playing. I also threw in the English Rickroll lyrics in the end, in case anyone didn't realize what was going on earlier. Despite this, I knew that there would be that one person who didn't even realize after finishing. Spoiler warning, I was correct. In the week leading up to April 1st, I began advertising the video with the thumbnail teaser as my first mashup containing K-pop, anime, and video game music. The plan was to send the mashup to people on Sunday night, as close to midnight as possible, with the intent of them opening my message on April 1st to avoid suspicion. And with that, all that was left was to wait for April 1st.